want to know the truth about Poshmark sharing policy or just sharing your closet in general, I'm about to give you guys the real. Let's go ahead and cue that intro. channel my name is Ariel if you guys don't know me I am a full-time reseller on the app called Poshmark and I resell full-time I love what I do and I love bringing it to you so guys in this particular video I am going to talk about Poshmark sharing and uh, basically like the sharing policy and like what's the deal with sharing your closet does it help does it not um how to share what do you use to share if you're sharing it yourself like this video be sure to click that bell subscribe like comment love hearing from you guys guys i am a full-time reseller and a reseller of second chances so i resell secondhand clothing i bring it to you guys to give it the chance to live and to breathe again however friends we have something to talk about today and what we're going to talk about is Poshmark sharing in particular. Now, Poshmark is the only app that literally runs their app off of sharing. If you want to sell an item, if you list the item, if you have an item listed for 200 days, if you have over 50 to 60 items, you have to share your closet. Sharing. You can share it off of a laptop. You can share it off of a desktop. You can share it off of a phone. Any item that has the Poshmark app that you're willing to share it off, you can do that. However, Poshmark has set up parties that is like, I think it's three parties, three or four parties that they have set up that we can literally share off. So it'll be one like at, what is it? One at 12, one at three, one at seven, and one at 10. Oh four parties look at that but either way those parties are still set up that means that you have to be active on Poshmark all those various of times to share your closet in order to get a sell yes sounds crazy but it is so true what happens if my closet is so big well over a thousand items and I have to share all of those items do I yes 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 you do yes you do yes you do you have to and or if you want to make a sale you can now it's very other people that's using certain systems to share they got virtual assistants to share they have other people sharing their closet or some people set it up where their family could share their closet totally up to you you do what you think is best for your business but however the truth is in order for you to make sales off of Poshmark, you have to sell your closet. And that's why you guys always hear me say that promotion is key. Promotion is key. Because if you have a YouTube channel and you have viewers that's buying from your Posh, that is going to help you in the long run. One week you can go on vacation and still make sales if you don't put your closet on um, vacation mode because your viewers are still buying from you. If you have Instagram and you have a variety of people that's like following you or fans, you can have them buying from your closet because these are the people that bought from you numerous of times. They know what to expect. They know how your packing is. They know um variety of like what to do for you. Totally fine because that's another way of making sales. But if you don't have that fan base, friends, you have to, and if you do you still have to share your closet but it's way easier if you build a fan base please 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 get social media guys it is helpful for your business i did not have social media before i started my business however i got it and it's super helpful please get it <sighs> okay i had to breathe because i was hype i was hype i was hype but guys this is this is serious because like a lot of people is like just making like 15 cells a day or 20 cells a day then you have some people that's making one cell or two cells or some uh the majority of us because we're not making the cell every day so you have some people that just make that zero cell day 
it's okay but how are people making that much sales they're sharing their closet and whichever way that they're doing it but they're sharing their closet so the best thing for you to do is to go on google or wherever you're gonna go if you're gonna get a virtual assistant which is a, a person who wants to help you with your store you can do that um it's different other systems that you can use as well and it's just you can hire a friend be like hey your job is just to share my store all day you know but or you can do it but you have to be honest with yourself and know if you can share your store or not now on the flip side guys it if you don't share your store enough you're not gonna get a lot of sales and it is just that true you know sorry to break it to you yes it hurted me too i am vulnerable right now because this is a serious topic no but i share my store though i share my store a lot i really share my store a lot so i make pretty consistent sales but it's just a real talk moment that you have to have because a lot of people didn't have this talk with me in the beginning you know and it's a conversation that i wish that I could have had because you know it's just the honest truth about Poshmark this is just how they build a business um how they build a business how they build the platform and I do hear certain hints that they're starting to get out of it because it's just like if my closet is based on sharing and let's say some people use certain systems to share their stuff so if they're sharing their stuff consistent consistent consistently through a system or a bot if they're sharing their stuff over and over and over and over and i'm here like really share 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 ah my hands hurt it really hurt because you're you're sharing your stuff over and over and over and over and then you have this system over here like sharing it who do you think is gonna win so partial market is like um we kind of need to get out of this but then I don't really think that they're pushing hard enough to get out of it. Would it hurt a variety of the community if Poshmark lost that? Uh, yeah, because a lot of people would have to work way harder to share the items. Would it be fair if they let that go? Yeah, I'm on both sides. Like, it totally would be fair. So, this is the harsh truth about sharing, but want to make consistent sales? want to grow your business want to scale your business want to put your business on top notch share your store i don't care if you put up a new tory birch item i don't care if you put up a louis vuitton purse if you're not sharing your item consistently and doesn't have that good of a fan base or even if you're doing you're not sharing it it's not gonna sell it's not gonna sell so it's very important for you guys to promote your business through different platforms. It's very important for you to tell people what you do. It's very important for you to just share your store. It's very important for you to join these parties. But to be honest with you, whether if you join the party or whether if you share, just share your items, both of them is okay. It's okay. Just share your store because you definitely want to make those consistent sales. Guys, you know I only tell you what I do. And to be real, I share my store every day every day sometimes morning afternoon night i'm making my business like if it was a medication that i'm supposed to take <laughs> like like if you know you're supposed to take this specific thing if you know you're supposed to eat at this time if you know that you're supposed to make a run at this time or have a doctor's appointment you're gonna do it right so set an alarm set a planner set a reminder that hey i have to share my store again if you're serious about making sales you do it right <sighs> so happy i got that information out to you guys but guys that was pretty much the harsh truth about it and to be honest my opinion is that i like sharing my store i feel like it's my store i'm taking part in doing something that i do to make money off of it and i love sharing like it's okay with me because not everything is gonna be easy so if you share your story you make sales i mean think about it if you had a store that was in the public's eye like or that was outside you would have to wake up every day go to that store right so 
you could think about sharing in that way. I got to wake up every day and I have to share. The only difference is, hey, how good do we have it? We're at home. We're at home, guys. 24 hours in a day. You can take literally about five hours divided into time and just share your story. But you can't go over 2,000 shares in a day. Hear me well, guys. You can't go over 2,000 shares in a day because Poshmark also has a flip side. They will then put you on sharing gel. So also be careful with sharing gel because if you get in there too much time, they can suspend your store. Who works hard for their store to get suspended? Oh, no, not me. For sure, not me. But it can very well happen. So definitely, guys, um, you want to, like, share your store, but just stay patient sales is gonna come when you share for sure i know for a fact so this is the video that i'm giving you guys today because i feel like it was so important to let you guys know about yeah that's pretty much the harsh truth about poshmark and their sharing policy so yeah guys without further ado I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, bye.